Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Plains on the Prairie podcast. I'm Max and today we are at the Fargo Air Museum taking a look at this beautiful F4D Phantom 2 on display. Um, we're going to be going over kind of the specifics behind the markings that it's in, um, the actual serial number behind it, uh, what makes an F4D an F4D as opposed to an F4C that we've previously covered in Castleton, North Dakota. Um, so strap in, this is going to be a great episode and I really am looking forward to telling you guys about it. So let's get started. So the differences between the F4C and the F4D are actually very minimal. Um, one of the most common or most obvious ones you could say is this radar run underneath the nose. Um, the F4D was equipped with an ANAPQ109 radar, whereas the F4C had an ANAPQ100 radar. Um, it's not very visible here, but the, um, the, a the 109 basically was a big hump that you would see right under here. Um, that's the way that I was told that you could at least differentiate the two. Um, the other difference would be the avionics. Um, unfortunately, as you can see by the cockpit, we don't really have access to that. Um, so hopefully we can get inside an F4 one day that actually has uh, an accessible cockpit. Um, but yeah, next we will be going over um, some of the more history behind this exact aircraft. So the F4 was powered by two General Electric J79 engines. Um, they both produced about 17,900 pounds of thrust. You might notice that this F4 has a cable or a, a rester hook for hooking onto cables. And then in the back, you might notice that the wing um, kind of bent up. It actually folds up. Um, I know most commonly um, hooks and folding wings are most, uh, mostly associated with the Navy. However, Air Force F4s did have that as well. That was for um, ease of storage with the folding wings and then with the hooks, if the brakes gave out after a combat mission or if something was wrong where the pilot could not stop the F4, this would come down on an airfield with a cable or something like that and help save them. So this F4 is marked up as 64-0959. However, its original serial number is 66-7693. So this aircraft was delivered to the United States Air Force in 1966, and it spent the late 1960s flying, flying with the 4,485th Test Squadron out of Eagleland Air Force Base in Florida. Um, after that, it was assigned to the 49th Tactical Fighter Wing at Holloman Air Force Base down in New Mexico. Um, it was there for about 10, 15 years before it was delivered to the District of Columbia Air National Guard in 1981. It would spend about nine years flying with them until, I believe, 1990 when it was struck off charge and given to Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland as a ground trainer. Um, after this, we're going to be going into more of the specific history behind uh, what 64-0959 did in December of 1986. So the 178th Fighter Interceptor Squadron of the 119th Fighter Interceptor Group of the North, Air North Dakota Air National Guard flew the F-4D Phantom from 1977 until 1990 when they were eventually phased out and replaced by the F-16A Fighting Falcon or Viper. Um, this aircraft is in the second scheme that the hooligans wore on their F-4s. The first one was right after the Vietnam War era where they were getting rid of the um, Southeast Asia uh, three-tone camouflage pattern that you see on a few of the early F-4s. This one is an Air Defense Command gray scheme. Um, this was the second one that they had. Um, and then the final one was a darker gray, more kind of like the Shamu color that you see on many KC-135s. As you can see, this one has the bright red uh, hooligan ta tail fin flash that they were very well known for. Um, during the F-4 Phantom years, the hooligans um, went to, I believe, two William Tell competitions at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. Unfortunately, they did not win either of them. Um, but yeah, that's all we have for the hooligan history. So late December 1986, four-month-old Michael McCann unexpectedly passed away. Um, unfortunately, his parents had to make the very difficult decision to have his organs harvested for donation. At the same time, five-month-old Andrew De La Pena in California was in desperate need of a heart transplant. Um, during the operation, the operation to get Michael's organs was successful. Um, however, being December 19. <laughs> December in Fargo, the uh, Learjet engines that were supposed to take um, Michael's organs to California would not start. Um, one of the doctors that was on the team uh, got in contact with then North Dakota Governor George Sinner, 
who then got in contact with the Adjutant General um, Alexander McDonald in Bismarck, North Dakota for the Air National Guard. And he was able to get in contact with NORAD to have 64-0959, this F-4 as it's marked as, uh, taken off alert status and basically used as a life flight jet. Um, the original plan was to have the heart be in the cargo bay of this F-4. However, since the F-4's um, cargo bay wasn't heat or temperature regulated, um, the heart was put into a little cooler and it had to actually be put in the back seat of this F-4. Um, the pilot of that mission was First Lieutenant Robert Beckland, who um, is obviously one of the more interesting missions of his time. Um, it was about a four hour flight from Fargo to San Diego. They had to stop in New Mexico to refuel and then get um, clearance from San Diego Tower where they were going to land, where the heart was going to be dropped off to the doctors at. Um, even though it was outside of the four hour window for um, the heart delivery, the operation was a success. Um, to this day, uh, Andrew De La Pena is still alive. He still has the heart that he was given that day. Um, I believe he is in his mid-30s. Um, other than that, that is all we have for you today with this F4. Um, we appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, we do still have stickers if you are interested. Uh, you can find us um, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for checking out this video. We appreciate it very much.